I'm gonna miss Peach and welcome back to MoGraph Monday. Today I'll be showing you how to make this text ring wrap around an object in DaVinci Resolve. To start off, we are going to get our clip and we're gonna compound clip it and then go into the fusion page. Then what we're gonna do is mask out our character. If you don't know how to mask, I'll link my tutorial on masking and animating a mask on the top right. For the footage that I have here, I only chose a single frame, so I'm actually gonna do my masking on this site, Photo P. In order to get my photo, what I'm gonna do is right click the image in the viewer right here, hit save image, and then save my image as a PNG to, into one of my files. In order for the photo to be exported, make sure you go back to the edit page and it'll upload to the folder. Then I'm gonna go to my browser and open up Photo P. Here, I can drag my image into the website and I'll open a project where I can start masking. So I'm gonna zoom in and out by holding Alt and scrolling in the program. If I want to drag around the camera, I'm gonna hold down space and click around. In order to start our masking, what I like to do is hit L for the lasso tool. While holding down Shift, we're gonna circle a big selection of what we're gonna get rid of on the, each side of our object. Once we have a good selection there, we're gonna go in with the edges more with a wand tool by hitting W on our keyboard and while still holding shift we're going to click in the spaces that aren't selected that we want to select to get rid of. Once we're done with that and have a selection that we like if we want to deselect certain parts of our image I'm going to go back to the lasso tool by hitting L and I will hold down alt and draw a circle around the space that we want to get rid of in our selection and then once you're happy with everything then you can start erasing. So I'm just going to hit E for the eraser tool then I'm going to tap the close bracket symbol to increase the brush size and now I'm going to erase everything in my selection so I can mask out my subject and once we've erased we can hit control D to deselect our footage and then we're going to hit V to go to our transform tool then we can go to file down export as and then as PNG and save it to whatever folder that you prefer. Then we're going to drag that photo into our media pool on DaVinci and then into our fusion page that we were working on before. Now we're going to hit shift space and add a matte control node. This node will allow us to connect the mask to our footage using the photo that we just brought in. So we're going to connect our main media into the yellow input of the matte control and then our mask photo to the garbage mat of the matte control. If we hold down alt while we're dragging this into our input, we can select which input that we are connecting it to and we want this mask photo to go to the garbage mat. So I'm going to select garbage mat right here. Now if we view our Mac control by hitting two on the node, we will have something like this where we'll need to invert the selection of the mat control. And then we're gonna go into the mat settings, drop down to this garbage mat tab. Then we can hit invert and this will invert our selection. Now we're gonna start our first method for the text, which uses 3D. We're gonna hit shift space and type in image plane and then add that to our fusion graph and connect our mat control to that. Click our image plane by hitting two on our keyboard that we can see now we have a viewer that's showing our footage in 3D space. In order to drag around in the 3D, we can hold alt and then hold our middle mouse button in order to pan around like this. And if we want to zoom in, we can hold control and then scroll in as well. And if we want to move around left and right, just hold down the middle mouse button and it goes like that. And the next nodes we're gonna add, we're gonna hit shift space and add a 3D merge. I'm gonna hit shift space again and get a 3D camera. And then lastly, we're gonna hit shift space again and get a 3D render. So we're gonna connect the image plane to the 3D merge. We're gonna connect the 3D camera to the 3D merge. And then we're gonna connect the 3D merge to the 3D render. Now let's view the 3D merge by hitting two and then we're gonna select our camera node and then we're gonna to go to the transform tab and make our Z translation to about 1.655. So the mass photo will line up with the footage when we merge it back on top. Now, now we're gonna hit shift space and type in 3D text. We're gonna add that to our graph and we're gonna to connect to our merge and then we can go and customize it the way that we want, change our text and our font, something like this would work. Now I'm gonna size my text down so the normal size and about the same size as our subject right here. Then we're going to go to the layout tab and change the type to circle and it'll make a circle path right here. I'm going to go down to the rotation and change the X rotation to 90. Then in the transform tab, I'm going to go and change this transform type to lines. And then in the rotation, I'm going to change that rotation to negative nine. So now we have our ring that's looking horizontal. If the curve on our words are too strong and we want to expand the circle, we can go back to our layout tab and then increase the width. So it goes further out like that. You can also adjust the size through here. And to do some extra aligning to our mask, I'm actually gonna add a transform 3D. So hit shift space, type in transform 3D. And we're gonna add that between the text 3D and the merge 3D. There, I'm gonna use the translation to move the text so it is centered. Then on our transform, we're gonna set our rotation to the order Y, X, Z, so we can animate the Y axis to have the text spin. All we have to do is move our playhead to the beginning of the composition, and then we're gonna hit our keyframe right next to the Y rotation. Then we're gonna move our playhead to the end of the composition. Then we're gonna keyframe again, and then adjust the value so we can see the text spin. What's great about this method is if we use the X and Z axis, we can tilt the text whatever way that we want it to be tilted. Once we position it the way that we like and then we're going to take a look at our 3d render and drag it to the input part of our media in and this will cause it to create a merge and it'll show our 3d scene on top of our original footage and you can see that the text goes around our subject that's all it for me if you have any more questions or suggestions of what i should do in the future please let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to join the resolve amb community discord server there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join and with that subscribe and have a good day